Children, do you know there is no holy day for Islam? For seeking knowledge? To seek knowledge, there is nothing called holy day. Islamic knowledge doesn't have break. Because it's a ibadah, it's a worship. And you don't worship Allah occasionally. You worship Allah every day until you die. Like salat. Can we take a break from salat? No. Because Allah created us to worship Him. Seeking knowledge is no less than prayers. If you start praying from 10 in the morning until 12, it's exactly seeking knowledge. Same pahala. If you pray for two hours without stop, it's no less or no more than seeking knowledge of the deen. Remember that. So you may take a break from school, but we cannot take a break from seeking knowledge. Okay? It's just for you to understand the importance of knowledge in Islam. Okay, any question please before we start? Parents, most welcome to ask for your kids, for other kids. Yes. Can you <coughs> repeat the the four yesterday's? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yesterday, in one of my lectures, I mentioned the four things that Allah will ask every one of us. Every one of us will be asked about four things on the day of judgment. Memorize them. Never forget them, children, because these questions are coming. So you better know the question. If you are going to an exam. If you know the question, what happens? Very good. Most probably you will answer the right way, right? Because you know the question. The Prophet ﷺ, not only he gave us the questions, he even, even gave us the answer. And he said, do not forget them. Now it's up to you. The first thing Allah will ask us on the Day of Judgment, when we stand by the way, stand before him, you wouldn't even move an atom of space from your place. For example, it's me, my turn. When I stand like this before Allah, I wouldn't even move like this, or like this, or like this. That's it. You stand up. Takut, scared. Because you don't know what he's going to do to you. And he will ask you about four things. All of us, men and women. Number one, your life. What did you do with it? He says, I gave you life. There is only one who gives life. Who is that? Very good. Allah. No one has given you life. So don't take it for granted. He will ask you about your life. What did you do with your life? So if you answer properly, you say, I lived a good life. Ya Allah, I was praying. I was a Muslim. He says, okay. He knows everything. You better just answer the correct. Number two, he will ask you about your youth. Where did you spend your youth? So you're still young, alhamdulillah. You say, Ya Allah, we used to study with Sheikh Zubair, Sunday morning. We used to go to school. We used to do this. Then maybe you're safe. But I was naughty. I was doing this. I was doing this behind my, the back of my parents. He says, why? Then what do you say? Shaitan. He says, I told you don't listen to Shaitan. It was there in the Quran. It was the first thing you read before Al Fatiha. A'udhu billahi min al Shaitan al Rajim. Bismillahir Rahman al Rahim. So you've been big trouble. So on your youth, careful what you do with your youth. Like you know, all young, alhamdulillah. So be good, listen to Allah, listen to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Listen to your parents, don't be naughty. Number three, he will ask you about your money. Where did you get it from? And where did you spend it? Two questions about money. Where did you get it from? Did you get it from halal? Or were you stealing? Were you taking corruption? Did you take it from riba, from banks? 
Were you charging people riba? Oh, all these questions. Were you gambling? Because money can come from haram sources. Stealing, robbing, taking something that doesn't belong to you. Something doesn't belong to you. Why, why did you take it? Ah. So your money, where it comes from? Maybe you work, and you work very hard, but in a wrong place. Maybe you work very hard, but for example, for liquor company. That's still haram. Oh, oh. You work, you sweat, but for wrong things. You work in Genting Highland in the casino. You work very hard in the bank. Sorry for those who work in banks. Serious. So, that's okay. That's the source. Where did you spend it? Okay, I got the money from Halal. I work very hard. I have small farm. From Fajr until Maghrib, I am working sweat Halal. But after Maghrib, or at the end of the month when I get the, my money, I go spend it on wrong things. Maybe on Haram. I buy Haram things. I spend on... Uh, on, on cinemas, I go to movies, give the Jews money. Who controls Hollywood? Who makes movies? The Jews. All the actors that are your celebrities are Jewish. You don't know. Men and women. All the best producers of movies in the world are Jews. Spielberg and others. You still watch their movies. Some of you cannot live without their movies. Oh my God. Yes, they control your mind. So you go give them money. And sometimes may Allah forgive your parents take you. Because parents don't even know. May Allah guide them as well. Say Amin. Okay. So Allah asks you, why did you give that 10 ringgit or whatever to that? Would you die if you don't watch a movie? Would you die? No. I may die watching a movie. Who can tell you? Who can tell me? Give me an example. Horror movie. Scared. I may have heart attack. Serious. There are a lot of people who died while they were watching movies. The adrenaline is kicking so high, they are not ready. Heart attack. Okay? So Allah will ask us children, where did we spend the money? One way of asking you where you spend the money is, why did you buy something you don't need? You don't need something. Why did you buy it? Ah, so you wasted. Allah gives you money and you waste. You have nice, beautiful shoes. Why you want other shoes? Just because your friends bought? You have nice phone. It works very well. Just because there is iPhone X? Eh? No, children. So it's not just the money could be halal. I got it from hard work and halal income. But I'm spending on wrong things. Things that I don't even need. Which means mumbazir. Tabdir. Allah says, إِنَّ الْمُبَذِّرِينَ كَانُوا إِخْوَانَ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِرَبِّهِ كَفُورًا Indeed, Oram Mumbadhir are the brothers of Shayateen. And Shaytan is really ungrateful to Allah. So wasting is a form of being very ungrateful to God. Is this clear, children? For example, you ate one meal. Alhamdulillah, you're full. Why you want another one? You fool. Why you want another one? So shukur, alhamdulillah. Leave the other one next time. For dinner, for tomorrow. No problem. You can eat again, but when you're hungry, not when you are full. 
So these are the things Allah will ask us about. You may spend money on uh, unnecessary things, really unnecessary things. Allah will ask you your maqiyam, my children. So this is for everybody. The fourth one and the last, Allah will ask, ask you about your ilm. You learn something like this hadith. Today I taught you these four things and you don't want to practice. I know that. I know the four things Allah will ask me about. My life, what did I do with it? My youth, what did I do with it? My money, where did I get it? And where I spend it? And number four, my ilmu, my knowledge. Did I practice what I learned? Ah. Allah will ask you, Maqiyam. You learned the seerah of the Prophet Did you try to be like him? You learned that drinking liquor is haram, alcohol. Did you stay away from it? You knew, you learned that lying to anyone is haram, let alone to parents. Why you lie to your parents? You lie to the people who love you so much? Oh my God. And you give hard time to the people who love you so much? Like your mother? Nobody loves you more than your mother. And you lie to her? Or you give her hard time? You make her cry? She may not cry in front of your kids. But when she goes to her room, she cries and cries. Ah. You didn't know that, but you hurt her. So Allah will hold you responsible. Unless you make tawbah and ask Allah forgiveness, otherwise you are in big trouble. Is this clear? Also upsetting your father. Father may not cry, father may be angry, that's not fair. He didn't bring you to this world to make him angry. Is this clear? Can we repeat what are the four things that Allah will ask us about Yawm Al-Qiyamah? Number one. Yes? Number one, boys. He asked us about boys. He asked us about what? About life. About your life. What did you do with your life? All my life? All your life. What do you think? Number two. About your youth. Now you're young, alhamdulillah. So, you still, you're better than your parents. Maybe your parents have done something wrong in their youth. Now you say, okay, I, I need to be a good person until I die. Alhamdulillah, so you have advantage. Number three, money. girls, your, money. your wealth, your money. Where did you get it? And where did you spend it? Very good. And number four, your ilmu, your, ilmu, your knowledge. What did you do with it? For example, Allah teach you medicine. Did you help the poor with medicine? Did you have at least some poor people coming to your clinic or hospital free? Or you were volunteering at least one day a week, one day a week, Sunday, you go to somewhere and give free service to people. Your engineer, did you give some time to the masjid to look maybe to the structure of the future masjid of your area? Or you just charge people? You're a lawyer. Do you really help some people who are really poor and defend them? Because you believe they are innocent. Things like that. You alim, knowledgeable of ilmu, of sharia. Did you practice? Did you teach people? Did you go to kampung kampung? Did you travel over the, all over the world to do da'wah? Ah, Allah will ask us about these things. So now, alhamdulillah, you know the four questions. Your life, your youth, your money, where you get it, and where you spend it, and your ilmu. These are the four things Allah will ask us about. All of us, all, without exception. <coughs> but Shaykh, I wasn't a alim. He will ask you, but whatever you learn, don't worry. Shaykh, I wasn't rich. He will ask you about that money, that money. Most of you get money during Eid, right? Hari Raya do it. What did you do with it? Most of you go buy it, I don't know. Ah. At least give some to the poor. Then Allah will give you more. Okay? So this was the thing Sister Shamin asked about. What else? Who has another question? Good. Good that the children learn something different.